Hi everyone, Mick Jones here, back in the Adirondacks again. Now what I'm going to show you right here is the frontage for the four lots that we have. And um, they all go right up and down this road. As you can see, it's a nice paved road. Utilities are available right here. Now the important thing I want to point out for all four lots is this. Although we're in the Adirondack Park, uh, if, if you've ever looked at uh, properties in the park and explored uh, what you need to go through to get permits to build in the park, you know there's a process involved. It's not all that bad, but it does take a little time and it does cost some money. Now what we've done here is what very few people do. We've gone through the process with the Adirondack Park Agency. Uh, you'll hear me throughout the video, I'll refer to the APA, that's the Adirondack Park Agency. And they are basically a state zoning uh, agency that oversees development in the park. We've gone through all of the steps with the APA to get the permits on every lot here so they are ready to build. That includes uh, Department of Transportation approved uh, driveways, building locations with an engineered design septic system, all the APA approvals you need to come in here, buy this property and build, we have done. When you buy and close from us, you will get the permit itself. It's about 11 or 12 pages. It's all done. If you go through this on your own, you're going to spend months getting the permit. You're going to hire a lawyer, an engineer, a surveyor, and an excavator. By the time it's over with, you're going to spend about five grand. We've done all of that. Everything is complete. Um, you can walk in here with the confidence and knowing that you can uh, build on these properties everything is finished for you and uh, it's ready to go uh, in the Adirondack Park we still get asked fairly often if you can build inside the park and you most definitely can there's a common misconception that you can't build inside the park you most definitely can build inside the park we have residents here year-round residents businesses all those neat shops and diners and all of that and we've got a whole lot of state land the park itself is not a federal park it's a state park and it uh well let me see it it, it adds up to about six million acres i believe uh, roughly half of it is private half of it is state owned and we've got uh, a good mix of, of both uh, private property public property which really makes this whole place unique uh, it's not like anywhere else in this country. It's really a neat place and that we can do everything right in, uh, in the same park. So I'm gonna go down and uh, start on lot one and then I'll, uh, I'll take you through each lot. Well, how's this for a building location? Boy, if this isn't the Adirondacks, I don't know what is. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Sorry about the camera being kind of tilted. I finally got this thing on a tripod and naturally I don't know what I'm doing so bear with me. But here's your building location. Of course this is all approved. You're ready to roll right here. You can set yourself back into here. Uh, let me show you something here if I can zoom in on this. You can see the power is not that far away. I don't know. Hopefully it's in that frame someplace, but beautiful place. 13 and a half acres. Now you've already heard me talk about, well, I guess bragging about the uh, the park agency permits, but boy, you're all ready to go. Some really nice mature pine in here. Got some hardwood mixed in. All kinds of privacy. I'm going to show you at the end of this thing uh, the West Canada Creek, Hinkley Reservoir, they're close by. West Canada Creek, in my opinion, the best trout river in New York State. That's a half a mile from here. Four tenths, but uh, it, it's close by. It's all ready for you right here. Give us a call, email us, do whatever you've got to do get up here and take a look at these because this is really quite an opportunity.
Well, while I'm here, I wanted to give you a quick look at the West Canada Creek that I was talking about earlier. Boy, this is a great body of water. Great, great trout fishing for browns. This is just down the road from the property.